Hey, Tia Silvesi with UF IFAS Extension, Hillsborough County here at the Native Plant Garden at Lettuce Lake Conservation Park. So today I want to show you some of the cool things we got going on here. This is our Native Plant Garden at Lettuce Lake Conservation Park, which is right on the Hillsborough River and we partner with the Suncoast chapter of the Native Plant Society and the Tampa Bay Audubon to create and maintain this garden which is just full of wildlife. In this garden they have this fountain which is running and provides fresh water for birds and other critters to be able to access. We have numerous native plant species, such as this saw palmetto, uh, the native milkweed, Asclepius incarnata, and firebush. That was just a hummingbird here on the firebush. And you can see some flowers, such as the Coreopsis. There's also a bird bath and a bird feeder which is cleaned and refilled every week. Here is the Leavenworth's tick seed that's in full bloom right now. And you can see the numerous pollinators buzzing around this plant. We installed these educational plant signs that tell you the common name, the scientific name, the family, and other highlights about the plant. Here is some of our many flower beard tongue in bloom. We also have bunching grasses such as mooly grass and wire grass. And these are permanent fixtures in the garden, help to control erosion and always look good no matter how much drought we get. Here's one of our coral honeysuckle vines we have up on a trellis. And this is one of the favorites of the hummingbird. This is one of our native species of milkweed in Florida, the Asclepius incarnata, which is the host for the monarch butterflies. And this purple plant here is a wild petunia. This grows great in shade or sun. Here's a happy little guy. This is the black-eyed Susan wildflower, which attracts bees and butterflies. Hope you enjoyed the little tour of our native plant garden here at the Lettuce Lake Conservation Park. So next time you're in Hillsborough County and you visit the park, um, just come to the back side of the Joel E. Jackson Nature Center and you can see all the wildlife in the area here.